Good morning, Wildcats. I'm Gray. Today is March 2nd, Dr. Seuss's birthday. And I'm John, reporting from room 218. This is your morning news. Former mayor of South Bend, Indiana, and Democratic presidential candidate Pete Buttigieg has dropped out of the race. Pete, the first openly gay major presidential candidate, had some success in early primaries, but has decided to end his campaign after a distant loss to Joe Biden and Bernie Sanders in South Carolina. According to Buttigieg, dropping out was the right thing to do when we looked at the math. Joe Coulomb, founder of Trader Joe's Grocery Stores, passed away at, on Friday at the age of 89. Coulomb graduated Stanford in 1954 and opened the first Trader Joe's in 1967 in Pasadena, California. Now there are over 450 stores across the country. Joe was dedicated to educating Americans on exotic foods and offering affordable pricing. An American soldier based in South Korea has become the first U.S. service member to be diagnosed with the coronavirus as the outbreak, which began in China, has affected more than 80,000 people globally. U.S. military officials said the patient, a 23-year-old U.S. soldier stationed in South Korea, is currently in self-quarantine at the base residence after testing positive for the virus. The recent spike in cases has led the U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention to raise its travel warning in the highest level for Americans contemplating travel to South Korea. Dr. Nancy Messner, director of the CDC's National Center for Immunization and Respiratory Diseases, said Americans should be preparing for the virus, a rival and a significant disruption of our lives. As a response, the White House has prepared an emergency spending request for coronavirus. Juniors, don't forget that SAT School Day is this Wednesday. Make sure to log into your College Board account and check your credentials. Also, make sure to bring your ID as well as an approved calculator if you need it. Juniors, now is the time to start preparing for scholarship opportunities. When you use Big Future and follow the seven easy steps, you are entered into a chance to win scholarship money. The first two steps are available now. Build your college list now for $500 and complete six hours of SAT prep on Khan Academy official SAT practice by the end of the year for $1,000. Check your email for links and additional details. Graduation rehearsal is May 14th at 8 a.m. at UCF. Seniors must attend the rehearsal in order to participate in the graduation ceremony. For questions, see Ms. Diener in room 360. Winter Park's next blood drive is on Friday, March 6th. If you are interested in donating blood, stop by Ms. Bryce's room in 364 for any questions and to pick up a parent consent form. Make sure you bring your ID. Hope to see you there. Chalk to Walk is also this Friday, March 6th. Sign-up sheets are available in room 802 and are due today. We are excited to see all the artists in action. Sophomores and juniors, this announcement is for you. If you've ever thought about getting involved with student government, now's the time to act. Your voice needs to be heard. SGA needs excited, positive, hardworking officers who want to learn how to become better servant leaders. If you're interested in running for a junior class, senior class, or student body officer position next year, please go to room 254 during A or B lunch today, tomorrow, or Wednesday. No experience needed. All are welcome. In sports news, make sure to come out to Showalter Field tonight at 7 to see the flag football team face against Boone in their first game of the season. Additionally, the varsity baseball team has an away game against Cypress Creek at 4. Before we sign off, we'd like to congratulate our student filmmakers featured at the Ensign's Real Short Film Festival. Great job, Wildcats. Well, that's all the news we have for today. <laughs> Yo, what is going on party people? It's your boy Sam. Welcome back to Sam's Movie Reviews. Today we're going to be talking about one of the greatest movies of all time, Chicken Little. Um, Chicken Little is an absolute slapper. I would disagree with anyone that says it isn't. This dude's the best character. You know what I'm talking about. I'll put him up on the screen. I don't know how to describe him. He's the best. Uh, Chicken Little is whines too much and he bothers me a little bit, but in the end of he saves the world in the end of the day so it's okay um the baseball scene really just hits home for me you know i was never good at sports chicken little also sucks at sports so um that really was like relatable but yeah i would say if you haven't seen chicken little go watch it um it might not hold up i haven't seen it in like five years but I, i'm pretty sure it still slaps um so go see chicken little if you haven't all right, hope everyone's feeling better. Hope everyone's having a good day. I know the flu is going around, so stay safe, get your flu shots. Uh, 
This has been Sam from Sam's Movie Reviews. See you later, party people. Goodbye.